Why don't I speak with fluency? I can understand people in movies, but I don't know how to be fluent like them. I hope to be fluent like native speakers. If so, this is for you. Hello and welcome to Everybody English, this is Shady and today guys I have a very very important question for each one of you. How to be fluent? Mm, I think I can be fluent by watching movies and I think that I can be fluent by listening to songs. Mm, actually, what you said is just to practice your fluency, not to learn fluency. So how can we learn fluency? To be fluent, you need to learn the following. Number one, contraction. Number two, reduction. Number three, deletion. And number four, connected speech. Hmm. Yeah, four points and I don't understand anything. Yeah, I know, and this is my job. It's okay here. Just let's go deeper into each one of them. Contraction. It's two words made shorter by placing an apostrophe where letters have been omitted. I don't understand also. <laughs> okay, let's explain one by one. I have like two words and I make them shorter by replacing these two words with just one word which has apostrophe in the middle. Okay, so let's take some examples. For example here, I'm I apostrophe M and instead of I am so for example if I want to say um, I'm shady or I am shady both are correct but to be more fluent you can say I'm um, or I am okay and this is the contracted form of I am next it's I think all of you know it and instead of it is. So it's a good day. It's nice to meet you. And instead of saying it is, okay? This is contraction in like a very quick overview, but of course we are going to deep, uh, sorry, we are gonna to go deeper in that later on in some separate videos. This is just like a quick overview. Number two is reduction. Hmm, reduction, I know, yeah, this word is the noun of reduce. Yes, you're right, it's the noun of reduce. But what is the meaning? So, reduction means it to shorten two or more words to give the same meaning by just one word. Okay, like I have two words or more, and I make them mixed, I mix all of them, to make them one word, but it gives me the same meaning. Like what? Let's have an example. Wanna instead of want to. Like, I want to visit my family. It will be, I wanna visit my family. I wanna visit my family. So, wanna makes you more fluent and much faster. Okay? Another example which is gonna instead of going to. Okay, like uh, I wanna say um, I'm gonna play video games with my friends. I'm gonna play video games with my friends. So here I mixed going to. Here to becomes like a ah, gonna. So gonna, gonna like that. Not gonna, no, it's gonna. I'm gonna. So I'm, um, which is the contracted form, with gonna, the reduced form of going to, and then the rest of the sentence. Okay, let's go to number three, which is deletion. And yeah, as you said, it's the noun of delete. But what should I delete? Let's see. It means to delete initial, metal, or final letters to speak with a native speed and accent. 
mm, initial, middle, and final? What is that? Initial means the first letter of the word. Middle, it's the middle letter of the word. And final, it's also the final letter of the word. Why do I do that? To speak with a native speed and accent. Okay, but I still don't understand. Let's have an example to make it clear. M. Mm, M. Uh, I don't know. Okay, M instead of him. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, really. M instead of him. I say, I love him. I love him. Not I love him. I love him. Okay, this is to be fluent. It's not grammatically wrong if you said I love him. It's okay, but I love him to be more fluent and more natural. Okay, let's have another example. Mine. Mine. Mm -mm. It's like mind. I make up my mind. My mind, not my mind. So I make up my mind. Okay? This is the deleted form of the letter D to become mine. Okay? And of course, as I said before, we are going to talk about that in details later on in separate videos. The last thing we have today, it's the umbrella term of all of these things. It's the umbrella term of contraction, reduction, and deletion, which is connected speech. What is connected speech? It means to connect two words, sounds, or syllables to be fast and likely native. So I have two words, I connect them together. I have two sounds, I connect them together. And I have also two letters or two syllables that I connect them together to give me just one word to speak faster. How? Let's see some examples. I have here it is. I R I Z it is. Is it a Japanese word? No, it's an English, but it's not a word. It's just the way we connect the word it is. So it is. So a quick rule, when we have the letter T at the end of the word and followed by a vowel sound, the letter T becomes like R. It is. It is a good day. It is a good day. Okay, it is. The second example that we have is gimme. Gimme? Uh, you mean Jimmy? No, Jimmy is your friend, but gimme, it's the connect speech of give me. Gimme. It's the connected form. Gimme. Like, gimme five minutes and I'll be back. Gimme five minutes, okay? So this is how we do it in being fluent, like native speakers, like people in the movies, in songs, and all of that. So in every video, we are going to explain these things in details, and we are going also to practice in other videos some sentences and some phrases that they are very common in the English language and how people say them again in movies and in songs so please if you like the video you can subscribe like and share and when you subscribe just activate the notification bell just to receive all our videos on time okay now I just have another question before I end the video why am I talking in English in this video because this video is a way to practice your fluency so I'm just doing that for you to listen to the video one more time or to watch to the to watch the video one more time to get the way that I talk with and this way I'm going to teach it to you or I'm gonna teach it to you in separate videos so please stay with me and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to like and to share to reach all of all of your friends okay See you in the coming video. It's very soon. Have a good day. Bye-bye.